sick of my wall. I mean, look at it. It's been this way since, I don't know, high school probably? I'm sick of it. Okay, so like, I don't have a lot to say about this because you, you see the painting, you know what's going on, there's just a whole lot of Bob Ross technique, and I, I this is not a teaching moment, um, like, just, if, if you would like to learn how I did some of this, watch Bob Ross because he's much better at it than I am, like, I'm struggling with the blending so much on this first one because it's just like, the surface was so matte because it had a label on it whenever I was starting working on it. It just, it, it didn't work as well. <laughs> but the other ones were easier because they weren't as matte as this first one. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just doing some little like Pinterest painting doodles on these. Uh, they're literally just because I wanted to do them and I'm sick of my wall and I want pretty things to put on my wall and I just like, see pictures on Pinterest all the time of nature, and mountains, and flowers, in the sky, and I want that on my wall. So I painted on them. So not a whole lot to say about the art or the techniques going on here, but if you want to stay and hang out, like just get out your, your paints and your Bob Ross and like paint some stuff. But so instead I'm just going to talk about my plans for my room and my wall because I am sick of it as I said in the intro I'm just like I'm tired of looking at it like I've always had just stuff all over my wall and it's nice because I'm one of those people where if I my space isn't interesting I just can't create I just look around me and I become creatively stunted and my brain just stops working so every once in a while I have to just like change my surroundings because I, I do my like college coursework and my art job and like my relaxation all in the same place so it's just like a lot of looking at the same stuff every single day and a lot of times my space isn't even that clean <laughs> or organized so it's just like oh, I'm just I'm sick of looking at it it's chaotic and it's a lot to take in like I, i'm sure as a lot of you guys can see from the background of some of my videos that i film in my room it, it nothing is cohesive about my space and the way i've designed it <laughs> saying that i designed it is like a huge stretch because i just kind of have acquired things over the years and if i liked it i stuck it on my wall one of the biggest things that I have contention with, like in my spirit right now, is I have an Avengers poster on my wall that has been there since, I don't know, like probably since the film came out or like a couple years after it. And it's just like, it's terrible. I hate it. It's just up there because it's high up on my wall and it's difficult to get to. And I, I haven't been able to take it down yet because I'm, I got short little dangly legs i have to get a ladder and that's just so much but it's one of those posters that you think it's gonna be good and then you get it and it's made of like plastic material and i don't know how many of you have encountered posters like this in your lifetime but they're just awful like i don't know who invented these they're probably like the cheapest thing that you can get because whoever manufactured this like couldn't afford paper but they're just they're terrible like, if you want to pin them up with little push pins like I do, the edges just curl up because the heat in my room and the humidity is just off the charts. Wow, this is turning into a rant video. I'll, I'll bring in some positive energy later on, but I just need to express how much contempt I have for this one poster first. It's just, it doesn't look good anymore. There's this one spot where I'm pretty sure like a cockroach crawled under it and like died. And it's just so disgusting. I don't know why I still have it on my wall. I'm just, I'm too lazy to get up and like take it off of my wall. But 
there's still a lot of things that I have on this particular big wall that I showed at the beginning of the video that I very much like and I want to keep on there. I have some art that I've gotten over the years from people at conventions. I have some posters that are still relevant. Like, I have a lot of very specifically Lord of the Rings Hobbit posters because I had a very long, very intense Lord of the Rings era a couple of years ago. And I'm still in my Lord of the Rings era, like my appreciation for the books and for the films is really good, but I just, I was really into the elves and it's just not, it's not the moment anymore. And I don't, I feel bad about taking them down because they're just like such a part of my past identity, but they're not relevant anymore. Like I might keep the, the one big Lord of the Rings poster up but I, the other ones are coming down, I'm almost certain. Um, but now if we can get into uh, future plans, because I have a lot of stuff in mind that I'm just slowly doing because, oh my gosh, some stuff is just expensive and I can't justify the cost of constantly revamping my room the way I do. Like. I just snapped a couple of months ago and I bought not one but two brand new desks off of Amazon and just put them against one of my walls. One of my walls is all desk now because I was just like, I need more surface area. And I also just took my, my dresser and I shoved it in my closet. So my dresser is in my closet now and it's a tight fit. Like, it's fine. It, it works just perfectly, I feel like. But if it was any tighter, it wouldn't work. And I didn't measure beforehand, I just did it. I just shoved it into my dresser. Like, I feel like we've all had this moment during lockdown, whether it's with our surroundings, some of it's with the hair. The hair was, it's also a big moment. You just like need to change something, you do something to your hair. That is the same exact emotions. Things are falling. Um, not in my room, there's stuff outside of my room going on and things are falling down um but so future plans for my room i have like this arrangement in mind for a very specific part of my long wall that i showed um where i want to mount my electric guitar i bought an electric guitar mount but i am very very nervous to mount it and hang it up because I previously mounted like some sword hangers on the wall. I don't know what else to call them. Um, but you have to drill into the wall and you have to put like little pilot screw holders. I can't remember what they're called. Mind you, I'm a construction major and I should know what they're called, but I don't. Um, it, it, I put them in the wall and one of them went really well. It looks really good. And then the other one just like, it went wrong. And there's just a hole there now but I'm pretending like it's not there. And I know whenever I move out of this room, it's just gonna be a nightmare to fix the walls. And I just don't want another situation like that to happen again. So I'm dreading hanging up this guitar mount. I also, I wanna make sure that I maybe like mount it into a stud so that it actually can support the weight of an electric guitar. Cause I don't know how many of you have held an electric guitar, but they're a good bit heavier than an acoustic most of the time, at least mine is, and I'm nervous. But I also want my electric on the wall, because right now it's in the closet and I can't see it, and I can't... I want to remind myself that even though I'm not good at playing the guitar, I, I want to feel like an electric guitar playing girl boss, even though I'm not good at it, you know? Like, I want, I want to live the, the dream. So I want it to be hung up on my wall as a reminder so that I can be a poser, you know? I, I want to live the dream. So I, I have an arrangement of that. And then I have, I bought, good, goodness gracious. So Brittany Broski did a room tour and I watched it. I was like, oh my gosh, your room is so cool. This is what I want to serve as an adult person. Just having a room that still, it's classy. But like, let's be honest, you still look like one of those kids on TikTok. Um, but she had a couple of items in her room that I just was like, okay, I need that. So she had an open sign on her wall. And you know what I did? I went on eBay, I bought the exact same open sign. So now I have an open sign that I'm also going to hang on my wall, hopefully next to my guitar. And then I'm going to put my beautiful, freshly painted Pinterest Bob Ross Girl Boss CDs on my wall next to that so that I can have like, 
color and some art and an open sign. I didn't say this arrangement of objects was good, I just, I like it. I think it might look nice. I don't know. Um, and then one last component. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put this on my wall yet. I've asked my mother, who has graciously said that she, she would be okay with it, but she has this mirror that her friend in like high school made for her. I, I don't know exactly when she made it for her. Um, but it, it's like in the shape of a unicorn and it's like all cut glass. It's really, really cool. So I want to put that on the wall in this like cool arrangement of objects too. So, and, and I think I'm probably going to find some other stuff at thrift stores. I've just been keeping my eye open for interesting objects to stick on there. Um, and, and then like, I also need some shelving. Like, one of the dilemmas I've faced as someone who is slowly becoming a plant mom is finding areas in my room that have decent enough light to keep plants alive. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to create like more surface area that's a little bit closer to my window to be able to just keep any plants alive. Because currently my three, well, four plants, I have four plants that, I, that are real. Um, I have a succulent, I don't know what kind of succulent it is, I have a Maria arrowhead plant, I have a bromeliad, and I have a raven ZZ. And they're all like good, low light, reliable plants. I've had no problems with them. They're all doing really well and growing really well, which is great. And I'll probably like get a snake plant or something else that's like good for people who have like just the worst luck with plants, even though I, that's been turning, there's redemption happening recently in the way of like how I am with the plants. But if I'm getting any other kinds of plants that need like higher light, I feel like I'm gonna have to create some surface area for them to sit on because right now I've been moving these other plants in front of my window like every day, even though they probably don't need it. But I do want to inspire them to grow more. And they do, most plants prefer a little bit more light even though they can be in low light if they wanna, if you want them to thrive, you need to provide more light for them. So that's what I've been trying to do with the plants that I have. But so I need some shelving situations. And of course, if you're gonna put shelves on your wall, it involves more mounting things to the wall, which I have a history with of not being good at. So it's just overall making me very nervous, even though I think it's going to improve the overall situation in my space because I just need more plants. I feel like if I have living things around me, the productivity will increase. Like right now my room just feels very dark, very dead. It has like my window, where do, what direction does my window face? I feel like it faces like north, Northwest, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't get the most light. It gets light early in the day, and then as the day goes on, and as my stamina fades, the light fades, and it just gets so dark. And I have these lamps that sort of like mount and attach to my desk so that I can move them and swivel them around, and they're great, and I love them. But they do not provide enough light for, for the space. And I, maybe I'm gonna put some grow lights in here or something at some point. But again, most of that involves mounting things on the wall or electrical work, which I am not going to do. That's just not it. Um, oh, here's me getting a coffee. It's just randomly in the video for no reason. Um, but I need better light in this space and I need better things to look at. Like I'm, I'm generally working on decluttering this area a little bit and maybe getting a little bit less on the walls because I'm thinking if there's more white space on the walls, it'll reflect more light and let more light in. Is that how that works? I don't, I don't know. I'm really not sure, but that's where I am with the room thing. And I, I don't even know if I'm going to show me putting these little CDs on the wall at the end of this video, I'm gonna try to, but if I don't, just know that it is because I'm still too afraid to drill into my wall. And um, I'll resolve this eventually. Like whenever I do put this arrangement up, I'll do a room tour or like a studio tour and you'll be able to see it. But 
A good bit of these renovations have also been so that my like recording and like YouTube art stuff is more aesthetically pleasing because I only have a good working background for YouTube like in one place in my room and like right behind my major like screen setup and computer. It doesn't look nice. It's it should have. I have like a wall of all of my favorite music albums, but because we have textured walls, they don't stay on the wall. They all have fallen down and it looks like death. So I don't have a good recording setup. Like I want to do one of the collage wall things. I've ordered prints. I have the prints to do it. Still, I'm too afraid to put it on the wall, you know? Shouts out to the people who have textured walls that feel my pain. And if you tape anything on your wall, just it never stays. And it, it's made worse if you have lights in your room, like fairy lights, because it heats everything up. Whenever there's heat, the tape stops working. And I know people are gonna be like, just like put it up there with something else. Well, I've damaged the walls enough though, you know? I already have enough work for myself whenever I move out of this room. Um, so it's just, it's a little touch and go. I'm trying to make it look nice in here. I'm just trying to create an environment where uh, art and creation is like natural and so nice. I'm already really enjoying the desks against the wall that I've added that I spent too much money on and that was a total impulse purchase. Um, I, I've finally kind of got a better sketchbook session set up going. Uh, I have a new tripod mount thing for my camera. So for those of you who are watching who like the sketchbook sessions, I should have a better setup for that soon. So that's good. But basically we're making efforts. We're making renovations here and that's what's important, but it's slow moving. And I just wanted to do this one thing because sometimes you're stressed out and you just need to like change something about your space and it makes you feel better. So that's, that's generally what this is. But if you're watching this and you're feeling this way about your room and, and especially if you've never done something to your room, I feel like this is a thing for some people. Like, especially um, people of the male presenting persuasion. I know a lot of people who are guys who just, they don't do anything with their room ever. And they don't like make it nice. And they just don't ever wanna hang out in their room because of that. But consider doing something nice to your room or just like make it more personalized, it helps. Like my brother is doing things to his room, not necessarily to make it more personalized, but to make it like better for him and more streamlined and it's already like so much nicer so if you're out there and you're considering like if, if you're looking around your space and you're like this is just so boring i'm not getting anything out of this um consider there's danny gonzalez ah! um consider doing something to your space to just make it nice or to make it work better for you or just change it for the heck of changing it yeah, that's my spiel. That's what this week has been about. But um, here's the finished, the girls. I really like how they came out actually. Like I'm getting a lot more into painting. You'll see that once I do like my newer sketchbook session for my little homemade sketchbook, but I've been painting a lot recently and I really, really enjoy it. So expect more of this. If you wanna see more of these videos where I just paint random stuff, comment below and tell me because I really enjoy them. I don't know if anyone else will, but I'm trying to do more content that's just like that I enjoy it. So anyways, if you do enjoy this, comment below and uh, here are my social medias. So go follow me elsewhere, especially if you just want to see my art. I post just art on Instagram. So if you just want to view the content, go to Instagram for that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next couple of weeks. I have a big project coming out soon for the girls who want the tutorial content. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay tuned for the room tour. And as always, please pray for my walls because they really need it. Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs>